Hey, how you doing? This video is not an April Fool's joke. I just really want to thank some people. I initially was so, so angry with Varmint Coyote. If you watched that video, that, that response I had to him, um, that I have in that private, not, not that private, but the, uh, the unlisted videos section, the ones I didn't want to share, that playlist. Um, I really, really, really want to thank Varmint Coyote. Um, that video got me to got me to question things, and I could no longer hide some things anymore. Um, it just it. It completely tore my world apart at the time. I, I was so stressed and was pacing and yelling and was just miserable for, I don't even know how many days. It really, really messed with me. It, it really, really, really messed with me. And I was so mad at Varmut Coyote for, for that long. And then as I said, once I decided to make these changes, it just, it all, It all just kind of went crumbling away. It's it's so liberating to not have these 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 ideas that I'm supposed to be this certain kind of thing in order to be a man. It's so liberating to not have to worry about that, to not have that going through my head all the time. So much of my life has been spent studying those that are really masculine. I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but I'm just... You know, I... I just... It was in, in an attempt to try to just see if I can really learn what that is and how I can be more that way. I just can't count how many times there have been moments in my past around my mother where she would be like, you know, any time I would show any little feminine mannerisms or anything like that my mother would just be be like I'm going to I'm going to slap you and the thing is she's never really been violent but on that issue she would always threaten violence when I when I talked to her you know the most recently about this stuff She tried to say, well, I just don't want you to become a total queen kind of, uh, you know, thing. And I, I guess, I mean, I can understand that to a degree, but it, she, she took it to such an extreme. She really, that was quite some suppression going on there. Um, I mean, generally, I don't know if I'm, I would, I don't know if I would naturally have been that feminine or not. But to have the fear of it, to have that the fear that I might be. 
Some people have pointed out that this way that I appear now isn't really necessarily that feminine. One person pointed out, oh, that you know, you've got the beard thing. You're still celebrating the beard. And I'm like, yeah, but if if women had beards and they, they it was just a normal thing, then they'd probably be coloring it as well or something, you know? It's... I again I accept that I am a guy I like being a guy but I just don't feel I should have to celebrate being a guy the same way as everybody else you know, this is more of an art artistic thing than anything but I felt I couldn't do it before because I thought oh well I might be interpreted as feminine if I do that and that would be bad you know it was just Like I said, this has been the most liberating thing for me ever. Just ever. Out of something that I've chosen to do anyway, you know? And the realizations that it gives me. And... And I just... But there's one more person... And it's uh, Zinx. I always, I always don't know why I always get messed up on his name. Z i n k x. Uh, Morin. Sorry, Zinx, that I, I, I had to look at your name. I just, I don't. Anyway, um, he and I had a number of, of discussions bef before I made the post that I was uh, thinking about making a radical change to my appearance and uh, just some of the insight that he had and a lot of these messages of, well just don't worry about it and then I made the post on Facebook and the post on Google Plus hey I'm going to be doing this and I still got you know don't worry about it you know Zinx is the yeah, one of the main influences why I decided to stop being scared of 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 just and just hey I'm gonna try to do this and let's announce it. Um, I really appreciate the discussions I've had with him. Um, another person that really helped is Dorian Stretton who has been a big help to me for quite a while I, I really enjoy his insight um, um, Jeff uh, uh, which is spelled like Geoff it's uh, Jeff Heisenberg his comments were very helpful too. Um, just, and this is this is when I was, you know, I had made the video about um, not liking these terms that we give for genders and these new way of, of, of defining gender and stuff. It was responses to that video. I, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate all these comments that I've gotten as I've been sharing this stuff I've been going through. Um... You know, it was, it's been the comments here on YouTube that allowed me to have that realization I had back in August of 2013. And I talk about that date a lot, but that... that I'm almost certain that if that wouldn't have happened on that date that I would be dead right now. I'm most certain of it.
As I've said before, and maybe people didn't hear it, those that have subscribed to me more recently, um, in a nutshell, YouTube saved my life. The, pe the commenters on YouTube saved my life. The ability to share these things is just such a great thing. The opportunities that were given, being able to do this, is such a beautiful thing. I'm so glad to be living in these times. You know, there have been some... Going back to the comments, there have been some people that have made me feel very bad at times. There are people that have not had good intentions in some of the things that they say. People that want to hurt others. But the good that is able to be had from this platform far outweighs those bad things. Far outweighs them. I'm so glad that this platform exists. I'm happy to be alive. And I'm glad to be me. Thank you.